And the big story at 5 o'clock, removing the dolly and finding the remaining victims. New updates on the recovery efforts at the site of the Key Bridge collapse. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. And it was just moments ago that the governor announced 182 containers have been removed from the dolly, allowing crews access to remove the steel span of the Key Bridge, which has been on top of the ship. Now, the plan to refloat that ship within the next two weeks. The big development that remains on track. Some good news there. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live along the Patapsco in Dundalk to break down a new briefing from the governor and the unified command. Mike. Nikki and Rick, the governor began by saying he is confident that the remaining victims will be found and it's important to bring closure to their families. Now, barring any delays, the dolly will be removed from the middle of the Patapsco River by the end of next week. is the massive hydraulic claw at work, grabbing pieces of the key bridge. Today, the Port of Baltimore announced the dolly, the ship that slammed into the bridge five weeks ago, should be refloated and removed in less than two weeks. And the deepest channel yet, at 45 feet, is on track to open by May 10th. The main 50-foot deep channel should still open by the end of May. We completed removing all the containers that we needed to remove off the bow of the ship to make that operation as safe as possible. And we're going to continue to plan to use precision cutting to make that operation as safe as possible to all of the salvers doing that job. Two of the victims who were on the bridge when it collapsed remain unaccounted for and still in the water. And as each piece is removed, divers search for their bodies. Very poor visibility down there. There's so much debris. We believe we have areas of interest, but we're unable to access those areas of interest. That's why it's so important for the unified command divers to work in conjunction with the salvage divers. The Maryland Department of Transportation is also looking at safety upgrades to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. The Bay Bridge, like the Key Bridge, is considered fracture critical. That means if a major support fails, the whole structure could fall. One's called a fendering system. Basically, it's, it's a mechanism around a pier that basically absorbs energy, right, and can divert away. There's things called dolphins, which are uh, pretty much much larger, um, in, in effect, um, obstacles, right, that, that, that you would hit that would, would turn a ship. It's great to hear that they're taking action on looking at it right away. Makes me feel a lot safer. I've never really felt unsafe, but... Yeah, the key bridge incident kind of makes you question. And there is another bipartisan effort to get the U.S. Congress to fully fund a new key bridge, and that includes an upcoming visit from a top House Republican. We'll have new t details on that coming up next hour. For now, we're live in Dundalk. Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, Mike, thank you. WJZ and the United Way of Central Maryland are continuing our efforts to help those who've been impacted by this tragedy. To learn more about how you can partner with us, scan the QR code on your screen or head over to WJZ.com.